Cancer treatments can cause many side effects, and many of these can last long after the treatment is over. The one side effect that's nearly universal among survivors, however, is fatigue. Cancer-related fatigue is very different from everyday fatigue. This is a feeling of being intensely tired, physically, mentally, and emotionally. And for some, it can last months to years. Yeah, it's not your normal, normal fatigue from working a hard day at work, that type of thing. It's really kind of like through your whole body, through your, your, your system, your nervous system, and, and your brain. You just feel very fatigued. The first time I went out, I think it was to Costco. And I thought, oh, it feels so good to be out. And I was walking along the aisle, and all of a sudden, it's like a stone wall comes down. And I just stopped and said, I can't go any further. And I was in the middle of an aisle. Mentally, it's, it's extremely challenging. And uh, uh, it's a d difficult just to get up every day, to sleep at night. Your rhythms are all out, out of whack. And of course, your mind is racing a thousand times a minute. It took me a good year to where I felt like I had enough energy to resume doing things every day that I like to do pre-cancer. Unlike regular fatigue, cancer-related fatigue doesn't get better with things like a cup of coffee or taking a nap. The one strategy that does work, however, is moderate exercise. I know it sounds hard to be active when you're low on energy, but studies do show that moderate activity will help reduce the symptoms of fatigue. Here are some tips that can help. It's important to stay as active as you can, both during and after your treatment. Continue as many of your daily routines as you can. Spread your activities throughout the day. Schedule your most vigorous activities for when you're feeling your best, and build in breaks so that you don't wear yourself out. Get some kind of exercise every day, even if it's just walking to the mailbox. Start slowly and gradually build up to 30 minutes of exercise on most days of the week, if you can. You don't have to do 30 minutes all at once. Two 15-minute walks are just as beneficial as one 30-minute walk. So you know, simple things like you know, going, getting up from the sofa, going to the kitchen was a task, but I tried to do that, you know, walk from uh, sofa to the ki uh, kitchen counter, and that was an accomplishment. Then I tried to go from the kitchen to a little bit further, and then eventually going outside and walking and walking for a half hour. To start easy when, when, you, when you have fatigue and when you're, you're just starting out to get back into the normal flow of life and, and do small steps and, and you know, walk two blocks and then you know, you're going to be tired and so that's okay, take a rest and then say tomorrow we're going to hit it and do three. Everything happens in its own time, patience is the, is the only recommendation I, I can really offer. It was about three years after the initial mastectomy, when I was just aware that something had changed. It was almost like the cogs in a wheel had moved, and I just went out for a walk, and I walked. I probably did a three-mile walk and hadn't walked a block since. If you're not sure how to start, or if you have physical limitations, contact your healthcare team or a physical therapist. They can help you to start at a level that's safe and appropriate for you, given your treatment and current condition. And as always, remember to notify your healthcare team if you're experiencing fatigue or any other concerning symptoms. We're here to help you every step of the way.